Yo, that's sick. <laughs> Good morning, bright and early from Flamingo Land. Park's in the middle of freaking nowhere. We're driving past like fields. We stayed in York last night and it was like a 45 minute drive to get there. We took a bus and it ended up taking over an hour. Which is not fine. Too, not too bad. Yeah. It's not bad. But I was looking on the map and I'm like, what's like the closest town to here? And like it's pretty, you know, like six, seven miles away, which is pretty far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, it's fairly remote, but uh, we got a lot of roller coasters here. It's like an impressive skyline. It really is, yeah. We're like looking across and like everything is just like right here, which is like pretty crazy. We also got a zoo, so there's a bunch of animals. If there are not a ton of flamingos, I'm going to be very disappointed. Well, I counted when we were at was it Drayton? Palms Park? Palms. Palms Park. There were nine flamingos there. So, so they have to have more than Palms Park. Yeah, otherwise it's the wrong name. <laughs> yeah, true. All right, let's go on in. Here we are, the front of the park. First thing you see is a massive pirate ship. Looks like this is like a stage. You can see the Cobra Roll for Sick over there. And then uh, Mumbo Jumbo is cycling. So the park technically is not open yet. Of course, they're, they've allowed us to enter the park. Not a lot of foliage here. I imagine this is kind of what Lost Island is like, based off of the pictures that I've seen. A little bit. That there's like no shade anywhere, which is fine, so I'm going to put a hat on. They do have a custom Vacoma SLC over there. So that I'm actually like really intrigued to try that out. They got the El Loco, the Valare Hero is right there. So it's going to be an interesting day for sure. Behind Sick is Velocity, which is the coaster that we were under the impression was closed. However, there's literally people queuing up for it. And I see ride ops in the station, which is huge, because apparently this ride has been down for like a long time. So if it's actually gonna be open today, that is like awesome. I was not expecting to ride that today. This must have just reopened, because everything I had heard was that, yeah, Velocity's been down for a long time. Don't expect to ride it. It's incredible luck. I know, that never, that never happens. Here we are, hopping on Velocity. This is cool. A good start to the day so far. Hopefully our luck continues. First ride of the day, Velocity. It's like Booster Bike at Toverland. Yeah, I liked it. The, the launch was pretty good. The launch is good. I, and much like Booster Bike, it is a shorter ride experience, but like it, it's good. Like it's fun for what it is. You know, lots of like bank turns I found and everything. The spot. Oh, there's the spot. That's the spot. That's the spot. That's where everyone gets the famous shot. I know, but alternatively, we could go we ride it. So we should do that. Here we are, entering sick. It is a five minute wait, and I guess the entrance and the exit is through the gift shop. As you're walking through the sick queue, you get sick views. <laughs> but not sick views of sick, sick views of velocity. It's a total party in here. Woo! Let's go! Turn up! <laughs> Look at these lap bars. That is a fresh change of pace from Colossus at Thor Park, which has over the shoulders. This is gonna be a lot better. We just got off sick for the first time. And already way more comfortable than Colossus. I don't know, something about the, the ending of the ride with those lap bars is like kind of painful, for me at least. Like, does it? did you find it like tugged at your body? Like yeah. as you're going around? Cause you don't take them super fast or anything. I was like, ow, on my legs like that whole hmm. time. Yeah, I don't know, I just don't like that there's like four back to back, like that's really like, the only thing that I'm not a huge fan of, like I like everything else. Um, it's funny, so there's a mist tunnel that you drop in after the airtime hill, after following the vertical loop. It is like, you get actually like kind of like pretty wet. Like your entire sunglasses are just like coated in water. Like everyone on the train comes out like wet. <laughs> We just did this funny plane ride right here. Have you ever done one of those before? 
They're very mm -mm. quirky. I don't know if I've ever seen another one. Yeah, they have, a, I think, a smaller one at uh, Parc de Attractions in Madrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's a cool little attraction. It's kind of like a scenic tour around, you know, no drops or anything. Uh, but it's just... twice? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I just had bad. to do it because it looks so funny. Yeah, yeah, all the planes going around. I think it's uh, identical or very, very similar to the one at Fuji Q. Yo, what the heck, Flamingo Land? No. One of only two custom SLCs in the world. Kumali has his awesome entrance sign. It's currently a zero minute wait. On this coaster, we have a vertical loop and a cobra roll, which is super weird. And frankly, I don't know what to expect. Maybe there's a reason that this is the only custom one. Kumali, a custom Vacoma SLC. What does that feel like? Well, it felt like an SLC. Yeah, it did. It didn't feel that different, uh, except for a couple of different elements. You know, there's a vertical loop, which was actually fine. It I was thought because there's fine. no side to side motion. It's all vertical, so like yes. not really any head banging there. Cobra roll. Uh, that, a is, bit that is a little bit, yeah. Now, um, I employed a new method with these restraints, like the ones that they have the big pads right here. Yeah. I just stuck my head out and like rested, like pushed my head into it like this the whole ride. And then it, since I was like putting pressure this way, I was like never banging my head because my head was already against it. Okay. So it worked. There you go. I, I didn't always have to do all that, but I, yeah. you know. I always just turtle on these to just keep your head Yeah, but head you turtle out. and then you push. Okay. It like works like a charm. Try there you it. go. <laughs> and right across from Kumali is Mumbo Jumbo. That's the exit. There we go. Now that's some mumbo jumbo right there. No, seriously, that ran like crap compared to the other Locos. Yeah, Green Lantern, like that's the last one. Actually, I think that's the only other one I've done. Oh right? yeah, 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 the one down in Australia, yeah. yeah. Lap bars, four cross seating, but same general layout. I mean, yeah, it's the same layout, but it's, I don't know, I, that just ran like not nearly as comfortable. That one ran way better than this that one. That one needs a little bit of TLC. Yeah. I even think about it, this is identical to Steel Hog at Indiana Beach. That one runs better than this one. Uh, El Loco at the Adventure Dome. That thing runs way better. Again, like these are definitely superior when you have a lap bar. So for lunch, we got these like chicken pots that are filled with like french fries and some sauce. Uh, some I see. Veggies. Yeah, absolutely. Not the healthiest meal of the trip. No, 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 <laughs> but it, it's actually pretty good. Unfortunately though, the operations for the food took forever. The operations. Hey, this line moved really slow, man. That took a long time to get that food. Right here next to Mumbo Jumbo, just this beautiful waterfall. Look at the structure, and it perfectly frames up the SNS Tower. This is awesome. <laughs> Cliffhanger is a lot of fun. That thing's got pretty good airtime, you know? It actually really did. I was like, oh, dang, yeah. okay. Shoots you up with some good force and then raises you back up, thrusts you back down to the bottom. Good views all around. I was like a little girl sitting next to me. She was probably like maybe like 10 or 11. And she's like definitely Scottish. And she's like swearing her brains out. I was like, are you okay? <laughs> Dude. And she's like, yeah. She's like, this is the second time I've ridden this actually. And I'm like, do you like it? She's like, no. <laughs> Why would you go again? I don't know. She literally said, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this might be the saddest teacup ride I've ever seen. Like, it's just dirty. It's also really, really small. It's very, like, carnival-like. It just looks portable. And presentation is kind of bad. I don't know. This is a weird part of the park. Okay. I'm going for it. Sarah's sitting this one out. I don't blame her. Let's we'll see how it is. Not Did you great. Hate it? No, it's, 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 yeah, it's not. Sucks. No, it's not good. 
Um, the one in Wiener Prater is worse. That However, mean well, yeah, so it's, it's bad, <laughs> but the biggest problem with it is that these vehicles that cannot, like, navigate turns. So every time it takes a turn, the whole thing's like, da -da 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 -da. like oh, when you're yeah. going straight. Well, the profiling is terrible. Oh, the profiling is horrendous, yeah. When you're going straight, it's actually, like, it's fine. But the vehicles are just so bad, like, you're literally in a cage. And it's just, like, so unpleasant. There are bars in front of your face. I hope so, it was uh, worth it for you, buddy. It, well, you know, it, it's all part of the experience, right? So we can confidently tell you when you come here to Flamingo Land, uh, that's a bad ride. I could have told you that without getting on, and I'm going to. Don't ride it. <laughs> Six Silk is a popular clothing brand here in England. And so they sponsored Sick, and so that is what the theme of this ride is. So that's why when you enter the gift shop at the beginning of your experience and also at the end, you have a bunch of Sick Silk merchandise. We just did Sick a couple more times, like at least three or four laps back row and front row so I still think the ending is way too much like I don't know I think it's it is way too much but it's kind of cool it is I that's like the, the thing the is, front row the visual is so cool yes it totally is and I can recognize that that is that's like the selling point of this ride oh, like yeah. people look at it and they're like oh my gosh look at the four back to back like it's not the most comfortable to experience but it's that is the wow moment that people are looking for when they look for a yeah. ride. Yeah, I actually skipped out on one of the rides because I wanted to go film the the famous spot yeah. in slow motion. And I got a waffle, oh. uh, so that was nice. But it's so <laughs> cool to look at. Like yes. I'm obsessed with it, like I just want to stare at it all day. It is. This park without <laughs> that ride would be nowhere near as like, really good one, what right? it is. Sure. Uh, what is it? That's pretty good. Right? Mm. I'm really glad that that coach was here. I can't imagine going to Flamingo Land without it. Have fun, buddy. He was annoying me, so I told him to go ride this thing. I could walk faster than that. <laughs> We're finally venturing onto the other side of the park and we got some T-Rex skeletons. Lots of open space here. This ride is themed to uh, dinosaurs. Like I see a triceratops, a pterodactyl. And then we got a small roller coaster right here called Dino Roller. This station is even too small for us. Wow. Oh my God. We're the only ones here, so try to take over. Yay. <laughs> This is like some wacky worm stuff. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Give me some laterals. Oh, wait, actually. <laughs> what? Yo, that is some clearance if I've ever seen them. One last roller coaster to do here. This is called Twistosaurus, and it also has a Guinness World Record. For the oldest person to ride a roller coaster at age 105. Can we just make note that he literally was born like four days before the Titanic sunk? Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, those lap bars are up. I guess they don't need the lap bars to be down in order to send it. That's weird. This ride has three restraints. So you have your lap bar, you have a seatbelt that goes across your waist, and then this seatbelt that connects down here. Are we just gonna ignore the fact that we just got boost mode? Yeah, he started spinning us before we dispatch. <laughs> oh man, let's see how this is. Oh, we're spinning up the lift hill, so that's already a good sign. Oh, hello. <laughs> so far, spinning more than Enzo. I, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> oh my Whee! god. This is like actually spinning a lot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be S I K. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Are you missing Yannick right now? <laughs> I'm just gonna like... Here, I'll just bash you with this. No, ah! No! Back off, woman. Mischief Manor? What the Harry Potter, like, phrase with the, the Marauder's Map do they think they're doing? I love it. 
What? Oh gosh. Uh, he is in the bathtub. That was so freaking weird. The dark rides here make me, not just here, but the UK, make me miss Florida. They are like... How Spider-Man and Rise of the Resistance back? It's so bizarre. Go, go, go. I guess you can bring your dogs here? Hello. We've done at least three or four dark rides on this ship that I would put in my top 10 weirdest dark rides I've ever done. We're walking around the zoo, but we haven't really seen any zoo animals yet. We did find big rabbits. Oh, there's literally one right here. Hello. And then, yo, turkeys. Wow. Aw, Easter and Thanksgiving coexist here. After being here all day, we still have not seen a single flamingo. Sarah once again has managed to find the penguins. I always do. Almost six hours into the park, and I finally have found it. Let me see them. Where are they? The flamingos! The of anything flamingo related all day. Uh, well, I think they have more than Pollen's Park. <laughs> this is a crazy view and vantage point. Big open area for some of the animals. So, Sick is down there as well as the Starflyer. You can see the Shot Tower, Kumali. That's a water ride that we will not be doing because we've heard it's a soaker, but looks like it's got I mean, some pretty cool theming. I know, I don't really feel the need to uh, get yeah, drenched yeah. head to toe again, but cool looking. You can see some zebra back there as well. Very nice. And here's our view of the main drop on the Lost River boat ride here. And it's kind of in the same areas where you can see the pirate ship as well as the main drop for Kumali. So definitely tucked back here. Most of the ride actually like kind of takes you on almost a little tour of the zoo. And so it's that time of the day. The park is about closed and we did one more ride, which of course was on sick. And uh, we sat towards the back for that one. And in the back. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was like our third time maybe sitting back there. So it's still, it's a fun attraction. Definitely still the best ride here. You like it better than Colossus? Yes, oh, it's definitely better than Colossus at Thor Park. For sure, it's way more comfortable. I like the reprofiling that they did. Um, it's absolutely an improvement. You can bring your dogs here. That's so awesome. So here we are in the gift shop, checking out what they got. And it's exclusively animals, like stuffed animals. And this. Oh, he's got a sick shirt. Yeah, that's pretty Not much a lot of it. Park credit stuff, though, like Nothing. Already, this is what is infuriating about so many parks in Europe. Is like if you want anything to do with like just the park name on a shirt, like it's not anything crazy. Well, you you can't get it. So this is pretty much anything that you could get anywhere and you'd have no idea it's from Flamingo Land. Now here we are. Well after five o'clock we were some of the first people in the park and now we're some of the last to leave. I think we are the last. We might be. I don't know. So um, we thought we could Uber. Yeah. Because it said like oh you can get an Uber for 28 pounds. We're like oh. To get to York. And it's like way quicker. Turns out this place is in the middle of nowhere so actually there are no Ubers available. <laughs> So we missed our bus, and they're once an hour, so we have been taking our sweet time yep. in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, so there'll be one here in maybe 30 or 40 minutes or so. So I don't know how much sightseeing we'll be able to do in York anymore, because uh, we are taking our train up to Edinburgh, Scotland, which should be pretty cool. But um, we'll try and make the most of it. So if you come here to Flamingo Land and you don't have a car, and you're like us, you're not staying on site, there's a good chance you're staying in York. So there's a bus stop just down the street and you're going to take the coastliner. And the best part, it's a double decker because, you know, England. Welcome to York. 
There's our view out the window of this little pub that we found as we are enjoying a smorgasbord of stuff. <laughs> and our train leaves in 30 minutes, so we're trying to eat it as quickly as possible. Welcome to Edinburgh. DC. Yeah, I guess. A little different than I remember. Also, it's like 11.30 at night and it's still kind of light out. Well, it's a little bigger than a closet, but it'll have to do. <laughs> it works. So we didn't get to show you guys much of York like we promised earlier today. Uh, we were pretty tight on time between getting yeah. back from the park uh, into catching our train up to Edinburgh. It's like almost midnight here as we're arriving. So instead of showing you York, I think we should show you guys something cooler. What do you think? I mean, I'm down. Let's do it. And through the magic of editing, we are now here at Loch Ness. You know, Ooh. like the roller coaster of Fish Gardens. Yeah, you know, we're gonna go and try and find the actual Nessie because we've been, we've already ridden Nessie. We know what that's like. Now we just gotta get like a good picture of her. I heard that we can make like two million dollars if we get a good, good, clear picture. Before we go on a little cruise around Loch Ness, we're gonna show you guys this really cool castle here called Urquhart. Well, the remains of one. Yeah, it was a castle. Fun fact: there have been multiple Nessie sightings from this castle, so. Maybe you guys will be some of them. So, you see her? Oh, there she is! That's her! You know, the second level of the castle ruins. You can look out here and see, like, this entire area used to be built up and now it's just reduced to rubble. It's crazy. You know what this reminds me of? What? Pompeii. Yeah, a little bit. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a much smaller scale. This view is amazing. Stunning location, too, right on the water. Oh my gosh. And look. There's a boot. Well, it appears that we're the only people that saw Nessie, so I doubt anyone will ever believe. I know, but at least you guys got to see physical proof as well, you know, so uh, when we talk about this down the line, we can be like, yes, we went to Loch Ness. And, and we saw we saw, Nessie. We saw the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, it's so really cool. crazy like how exact Bush Gardens was up there. I know, like the recreation was just like spot on. Uh, but if you find yourself in Scotland, you know, uh, definitely come out here and check it out. It's kind of out there. It's like four hours from Edinburgh. This, it's a big tourist attraction here, and the drive was beautiful. It's amazing. Definitely yeah. recommend it. Hard to get to by transit. You pretty much gotta go on a bus tour or uh, Have by a car. That likes to drive. Yeah, exactly. Uh, on the left side of the road. Yep. But that's gonna do it for this one. This was a good time. So we showed you guys Flamingo Land. We showed you guys Loch Ness, and we're headed to Madrid. Tomorrow we'll be at Park de Attractions. And that's gonna be here. I know, it's going to be a good time, so stay tuned for that, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and stay tuned for more here at Coastal Studios. We'll see you next time.